there. Here I am from this downward view. I don't know how to wave here. Like this. Like this. I don't know. Anyways, hello. Hello. <laughs> so these are the makeup brushes we'll be using. Um, I have um, basically two of, this, two of the same kind of each one in here. So for example, I've got like these two right here. These two Lexi brushes right here. Um, that we're going to be getting dirty and then we'll be cleaning and testing um, and then like I will pull them out but like I think I have yep here's some shader brushes oh that's not exactly the same but I do have the exact same one so I'll make sure to match them up um, but basically what we're going to do right now is we're going to get these brushes dirty and then I'm going to leave them to sit overnight and then I'll come back in the morning and we'll clean them um, with our different brush cleaners. Again, we're going to be testing between Peary and Spirit. Right there. Brush cleaner. And the um, Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. So I'm just basically doing a test. These are both really good quick dry brush cleaners. Um, use them all the time so this is basically just to see if there's any difference between how one cleans if one cleans better than the other one does so there we go so let's go ahead and get our brushes out and kind of um, match them up let's see uh, let's see what all we're testing that's probably a good idea so I know just exactly how many makeup brushes so what I've decided we're definitely going to be testing um, eyeshadow because of course we all love our eyeshadow. So this is the palette that I'll be using. Um, it's got both brights and neutrals, some really deep, deep, rich tones. So I figured this would be a great one to use. So if I wanted to truly test every single shade, I don't know if I will, but if I wanted to, there's what, four, four, 16 shades here. So I could potentially do 16 eye brushes. May or may not do that. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to be using that. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, the contour out of this kit so that we have a contour shade. I'm going to do my Butter Bronzer. Okay. So that's potentially 18, maybe. I'm going to do a cream bronzer. This is my new soul body, uh, face and body bronzer right here. So we'll be trying that out. So 19, um, of course I'll be choosing foundation. I'll be doing foundation. So I'll use the uh, Born This Way for that. So that is what, 20 right now? Potentially. That's only if I do all the shades. Um, there is a concealer. I'm going to try that as well. Um, I have a liquid bronzer here, so we're going to try that. I have a liquid blush. I have a cream contour. Um, I have a cream blush, putty blush. I have a powder highlighter. And then I have a super shock highlighter. Right here. <clears throat> I have blush. And last but not least, I have like a, I guess, a, a liquid illuminator. So I figured that kind of covers the basis of mostly of what we use our makeup brushes for. Um, so let me um, pause the camera and I'll finish getting the rest of the makeup brushes so that I can make sure I have enough for everything. Alrighty, so I have finally uh, matched up pairs. I have a total of 24 pairs of different brushes. 
So that should give us plenty to work with um, because I think I counted up. We're gonna do foundation one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're just using the contour, ten, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then I remembered two more. So fourteen, this is a brow pomade, and then fifteen, this was a gel liner. So there's fifteen. Um, and I have 24 brushes, so the rest of them we can do with eyeshadows um, out of this Juvia's Place palette right here. So I have more than enough um, brushes here to, and then reminder, there's a Juvia's Place palette. So yeah, I have more than enough brushes, I think, to be able to um, give you all a thorough test of like the majority. I think I covered the majority of the types of makeup we use. I think I got it all. Yeah, so I think that uh, that's definitely going to give us a good baseline to be able to get these brushes nice and dirty and then test them and see uh, which brush cleaner comes out on top. So let's go ahead and get these dirty, shall we? Um, I've even got some kind of out of frame. That way I can set the brushes out of frame whenever after I've gotten them dirty. So let's start with the first thing that we would normally start with. I'm not going to do primer because you can't really see primer on brushes. So the next step would obviously be foundation. For that I have this um, clear acrylic mixing palette that I got from Shop Miss A. Um, and these are great for mixing foundations. In this case, I'm going to just pop some foundation on here so that I can dip the brushes in um, and get the brushes dirty that way. So for the foundation, we're going to be using these two Sephora VIB Rouge um, brushes here. These are called Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush, and I love these for both uh, face, even though they're small, they pack quite a punch, they're really good brushes. Um, I don't know that you could get them separately, unfortunately, but these were part, like gifts, I guess they gave for VIB Rouge years ago, <laughs> so I haven't been VIB Rouge in many years, so okay, I'm going to set this down, so there's the palette, and I'm going to go ahead and get some foundation, just kind of mushed into the brush. Make sure I get it in there and saturated pretty well. I'm not going to go super deep, but I mean like this is how we would do it on our face. We'd buff it, press it on, stipple it on, all that. So I'm going to make sure I get a good decent fair amount on there. Um, and then well, like I said, uh, let this sit overnight. So I think that that has soaked up quite a bit of uh, foundation. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I turn it to the side, if maybe you can see that a little better. There's that brush versus the clean brush right there. Okay, so set that one aside so that we can kind of make sure to get them about the same. Do some swirling, dipping, tapping, stippling, all of that. Okay, I think we're pretty good. I think that um, I have saturated both of them pretty well. So there we go. There will be our foundation tester. Okay, 
Uh, next up, we're going to do um, concealer. So I have my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to just put some onto the palette here as well. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. For the Shape Tape, I'll use flat shader brushes. I think that'll be good because those could be used kind of as concealer brushes and you know also like if you do cut crease and whatnot. So I have some flat shaders, some small flat shader brushes here from Lexi. These are both um, 245 small shader is what these are. All right, so we're gonna start off by dipping into this concealer, getting it all nice and on there really well. There we go. Set you right there. Okay, same thing with this brush. Get a lot of concealer up all in there. All right, have a little bit too much on that one. So there we go. Hopefully, y'all can see. Those are nice and saturated. So, concealer. Let's see. Next up, let's do. Um, what's going on our next step? What would we do next? We would do powder, but again, powder is not going to show up very well. So next I would probably do a contour. So let's start with a cream contour um, right here. For that, I'll use some blending brushes. Okay, it's all cleaned off. All you're seeing is, uh, as far as the dirtiness is like the powder that's on the um, paper towel underneath. So, but the actual acrylic palette is completely clean now. All right, so um, we're doing the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. Alrighty, I am back. So as you can see, I have the beautiful Juvia's Place Masquerade palette um, laid out on camera. Um, you can also see all of my uh, brushes that I've gotten all dirty back there. Um, so now we're just going to use up the remaining brushes that we have. Um, and I'll use, of course, the darker, brighter colors for the most part so that um, you know of course it'll stand out better um now i will tell you when we go to clean these uh it may not get the staining out of there uh, these quick brush cleaners don't always do that um, but this is a good test to see if one works better than the other to get stains out um, but i full well expect some of these brushes to have staining when it's all said and done, usually the only way I can get standing out is when I deep clean my brushes. So that's just to be fair. I'm going to try to get it almost as if this is a shader brush. That way we have more eyeshadow to work with. Okay, cool. And there we go. That is the last set of brushes. So, make sure y'all can see those. Yep, nice and saturated. Put those right there. All right, 
last set of brushes so we're done getting everything dirty I think that was fun playing and getting everything dirty um, so now like I said I'm going to let them sit overnight it is currently get it where you can see my phone uh, sorry about that ring light hold on come on phone there we go it is currently Saturday June 5th at 1 58 a.m. Yes, 2 o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much on Saturday, June 5th. So I'll be back sometime on Saturday, June 5th to clean these brushes. Um, they'll probably set at least a minimum of five hours. I don't know how much sleep I'll be getting tonight, but that's just how it goes. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I hope you had fun watching that part of it and look forward to the next step. Um, so I'll be back. I'll say bye for now. Bye for now. And then I'll see y'all in a few hours. But for you, it'll just be a few seconds. Okay then. Well, hello again. Good morning. So the brushes have set. Um, I believe it was like two o'clock in the morning that I showed y'all <laughs> all these, finished them off. So, um, now I'll show y'all what time it is. It is currently Saturday. Uh, I'll try to get the ring light off of there. Saturday, come on, come on. Sorry guys. Saturday, June, that stupid ring light. Saturday, June 5th at 10.46 a.m. And I believe it was like 2 or 2.30, so these have sat for what, we'll say 2.30, so. So about eight hours. Um, so I would say that anything was that, you know, any of the creams and stuff that I put on there are going to be mostly dry by now. So that'll give you a good idea as to how well these brushes clean. Um, I mean, these brush cleaners clean if you've left your makeup brushes dirty for a few days. So, <clears throat> first off, I have these yellow, ugly microfiber towels. I got these in a huge pack at Costco for a very reasonable price. I honestly am not going to guess at what it was, but it was very reasonable. And it came with tons of them. And I use these m mostly to clean to clean everything, to clean my house, to clean my brushes, whatever, instead of having to waste paper towels. Um, so I do try to be as sustainable as possible when I can. So I'm going to be using these to just like swirl the brushes on to, to get all the product off once I have dipped the brush in, after I have dipped the brush into the brush cleaner. So you dip it in the brush cleaner and then you clean it off on a towel. Alright, so I'm going to move the some of the extras out of the way we'll just start with one um so i'll make sure it's in camera okay the next up i have two glass bowls right here nothing spectacular just two glass bowls you can see i still have my um whatchamacallit stain there from I guess one of the makeup brushes last night so oh, you can't see that right. okie dokie so sorry about that I'm back I wanted to make sure to clear enough room to be able to set the clean makeup brushes down off camera okay first we're gonna start with the Perry and Spirit this is what it looks like I got this in the large bottle I ordered this I think I ordered it through Amazon. It was either Beautylish or Amazon because Beautylish does sell this um, and so does Amazon. And then I ordered this one either through Amazon or Sephora. I'm not sure. This is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Maybe if I put my hands underneath it won't be. There you go. You can kind of see the words better. So this is a smaller bottle. This was my go-to forever and ever. Um, but then I had seen this Perry and Spirit, and so I thought, well, let's see if this is any better. So this is what I ordered in the big bottle the last time. They both cost pretty much the same. It's just all a matter of coming, how it comes down to how well they clean. All right, so we'll start 
with Perry and Spirit in the bigger bowl. If I can, golly, get the lid open. And you just pour some in there. You don't mix it with anything. There's, you don't add water or anything else. You just pour in a little bit of brush cleaner like that. And then we'll do the same with the Cinema Secrets. I do hope I have enough of the Cinema Secrets to finish this test. Um, I think I do because the majority of these brushes are um, small eyeshadow brushes, which was done intentionally because <laughs> I knew I didn't have a whole lot of, uh, well, first off, that's all I really had a whole bunch of, like, matching pairs of, and then also I knew I didn't have a lot of the Cinema Secrets left. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we got dirty last night, if you'll recall, were these two brushes here. Um, they're foundation brushes, so you can see they're nice and dirty. Hopefully you can see from the top a little bit. Okay, so first one I'm going to do is this one. I'm going to dip it into the Perry and Spirit. Now, the secret here is you don't dunk it all the way down in there. You don't swirl your brush all the way down in there. You just barely um, kind of touch the surface with the brush because the brush will kind of quickly um, suck that uh, brush cleaner up. Um, I, I don't know what's how it works but it it does it, it sucks it up and it'll work its way up to the bristles um the longer you leave it there so it just really soaks into the brush really well so we don't have to dip our brush all the way in there we just dip the tip in there and get the tip nice and wet and okay so i just dipped the tip i don't know if you can tell but i mean the wetness is already up to here so if you, yeah so the wetness is already up to here Okay, so I've got that nice and saturated, and I barely dipped it in there. Now all I do is I brine my brushes, or the brush, across the towel to get this out. Um, one thing, one con I have for the Perry and Spirit is it is a very, very, very highly fragranced um, of oranges and I like oranges but it's it's too much um, for me in a like if I clean my brushes in my makeup room um, if I clean a lot of them and then that link that scent just lingers in my office for a few days because it's very strong um, the cinema secrets okay so there we go can you see that completely clean very good. Okay, so I will um, keep these separate so we can come back and you can see them. I'll have Perry and Spirit on my left and Cinema Secrets on my right. I'm just, I'm saying that out loud now. Okay, same thing. See, it's nice, dirty. You barely touch the surface because it will suck up. Yeah, it sucked it all the way up here again, just like the uh, Perry and Spirit did, so same thing, and it's okay if you go over, um, go over some spots that you've already gone over, um, although you know what, I should probably use two separate towels so we don't cross contaminate, okay, so this will be for the Perry and Spirit, uh, and this will be for the Cinema Secrets, so let me just finish cleaning this. And there we go. Honestly, those two look the same. All right, back to what I was saying about the con. Um, so for me, the orange fragrance is a bit overwhelming. That's just me. Um, some people might love it. It's just it is a very strong orange scent. Um, the Cinema Secret smells kind of like um, how would I describe it? Vanilla and alcohol vanilla and kind of vanilla and it's got kind of a how else can I describe that because it's chemically too almost like gasoline but like this stuff is super potent too I think that um, 
it's not gasoline. I think it's probably just something in there that really breaks up the makeup. So, all right, next, um, but it's, it's not highly fragranced. Um, the Cinema Secrets is not highly fragranced. Uh, but since it's a dyed blue, it can stain your brushes. So that's the con to the Cinema Secrets is that it can stain your brushes. Okay. Now we're dipping into the Perry and Spirit. This was our concealer. Barely dip it in there. And I usually start kind of in this in um, a spot where I've already been cleaning because that that uh, part on the towel is going to be pretty saturated with brush cleaner. And then I'll move it over to a cleaner area to make sure I get it all cleaned off. So there you go. That was our concealer. Cleaned in the Perry and Spirit. This one. I don't know if I showed you the other one, but it had just as much concealer on it. Okay, so very barely dip, and I don't know if y'all can tell how little I'm dipping. I'm literally just barely touching the tip. where y'all can see it. Once I get some of these brushes out of the way, you'll be able to see me clean these better too on camera. But you just swirl it around and then I'll go back and forth and I'll swirl um, until I don't see anything coming off on the towel. Okay, uh, that one needs another dip. So let me get a little bit more. And there's still plenty of concealer on this brush, or there was. The second dip seemed to have take care of the rest of it. There we go. Nice and clean. That's from Cinema Secrets. So I don't know if I just didn't dip um, far enough in for it to soak up because I was of the angle I was trying to show it at, or if that one actually cleaned better. So going forward, I'll make sure to dip them evenly. Okay, I apologize. I guess I forgot to turn the camera back on. I'm not sure how long I have not been recording, um, but we're going to be starting on the eyeshadow brushes now. But I can tell you that so far everything else, everything has come out very clean and pretty much unstained as well. Um, so, so far so pleased with both brush cleaners. Um, but I apologize, I'm not sure when the camera either cut off or when I forgot to turn it back on. I'm hoping we didn't miss too many brushes. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'll show you in the, the end result. So you saw the beginning result, you'll see the end result. So I'm not going to go back and try to figure out which ones that I've cleaned off camera. We're, we're just going to move on. Okay, moving on. This was the uh, powder the, 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 I can't talk powder highlighter I believe all right okay now we've got a nice um, like beautiful orchid color eyeshadow. Hey, Perry and Spirit. That's where you can really see it suck it up. I don't know if you can see that, but it really just, you barely dip the tip in and it really sucks it up to the 
all the way to the top, um, to the ferrule, basically. I think is what they call this thing up here is the ferrule. This. Okay. And these were white makeup brushes, FYI. <laughs> And it's still a little stained because it looks pink, so we're going to dip in again. But again, I may not be able to get the staining out with the quick dry brush cleaners because the, they, I don't think they're necessarily designed for that. They're designed to clean off product and kill bacteria. Um, to really get the staining out, you usually have to deep clean. Okay, but I think that's better and it got some of the staining out so there you go it also make, made the brush look a little bit better in my opinion um, it's not quite as frayed as it was before so I don't know if there's some conditioners in there but there definitely is still some staining but that's to be expected like I said the brush is completely clean and nothing is coming off at all on the towel or on my hands so, that would be fine to use. It's just stained. Okay, we'll do this one. And again, I don't know, that's, that really soaked it up. Hopefully you can see. It just literally, you dip it in there and it goes and sucks it up. Um, I think a little bit better with the Cinema Secrets one as far as sucking it all the way up the, um, the length of the hairs. Um, I think Cinema Secrets works a little bit better and gets a little bit farther up than the Perry and Spirit does. But I mean, the Perry and Spirit, I mean, it goes plenty far enough to sanitize and clean those brushes. Okay, again, it looks about the same. It has some staining. So we're going to dip a second time and I doubt that the stains will come out. But we're going to give it a try. And I see absolutely nothing coming off of the brush at all. So I would say that this one is done. Um, the same thing. It seems like it kind of conditioned the bristles a little bit. Let's see if I put them side by side. Um, definitely got more of the staining out with the Perry and Spirit. But I think they're both equally clean. Honestly, oh, you can't see that. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this one was with the Perian. This one was with Cinema Secret. So I'm putting them next to each other and kind of rolling them. And I can see that the staining, there's more staining on this brush, I think, than there is on the one that was cleaned with the Perian Spirit. But not by much. And there's absolutely nothing, again, no pigment coming off of the brush so it's just stained and it will come out hopefully when I deep clean my brushes there you go which I try to do that <laughs> at least once a month um doesn't always work out that way though <laughs> Last ones, woohoo! All right, dipping in again. This is fresh because this is a real vibrant blue. Can't talk. This is a real vibrant blue color as well, so it will probably stay stained. Okay. 
just trying to get it where y'all can see what I'm doing. There's lint or something right there. Okay, so hopefully you can see the staining. I'm going to dip back in. See if we have any light getting any more of the stain out. But I see nothing coming off on my brush. I don't know. Yeah, I see nothing coming off on my brush. So, I think it is clean, just stained, which I expected. So, there you go, there's the staining. But again, completely no, nothing coming off. Okay, so that one's done, clean. Okay, sorry about that. I had a call come in that I had to take. Um, I think I had dipped this all um, in the thing already because it seems wet. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. So, but I'm going to dip it a little more because I think it was starting to dry since I had to take that phone call. Okay, so I'm still going to consider this our first dip just because, like I said, it had started to dry since I had to take that phone call. Uh, let's see. I'll have stuff coming off. Here's where we're at with the staining. I think it's a little bit more stained than the Prairie M one was, but again, we're going to give it another dip and see if we can get anything else off. Mm -mm. No, wait a little bit. I got a little bit coming off. Okay, now I've got absolutely nothing coming off. So, yep, that's stained. It's clean, but that's stained. Um, let's take a look at the Perian one. The Perian Spirit is less stained than the Cinema Secrets one. Oh, crap. The Perian Spirit is here. That was cleaned with Perian Spirit. That was Cinema Secrets. So I'm just showing you all that I think the staining is more with the Cinema Secrets than it is with the one that was cleaned with the um, Perry and Spirit. I'm going to do one more dip just to see um, in the Cinema Secrets. I'm going to soak it up, let it sit for just a minute. Um, and then I'll see if I can get any more off. Okay, that should be good. Swirl back and forth and side to side. Okay, I think that's it. I see nothing coming off on the towel whatsoever. And I'm pushing hard too, so I think that got, that's it. So this is Cinema Secrets. This is Perry and Spirit. So yeah, the Perry and Spirit got the staining out just a little bit better, I think. Um, but I think that the Cinema Secrets did a really good job too. Uh, this is just a really deep, vibrant blue. So I totally expected these brushes to be stained. Okay, so um, as a reminder, uh, this is what all we used. Um, and cleaned off of these brushes. So we had a Born This Way foundation, which was dried on pretty well. This is a pretty pigmented foundation, so I used that. It cleaned it no problem. Both of them cleaned no problem. Uh, my concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. We all know and love this one. Um, very uh, full coverage, so that's why I chose that one. Um, both brush cleaners knocked it out, no problem. Okay, and then I used a cream contour. Um, I used this cream contour from Jordana, unfortunately. They're no longer in business, but I used this cream contour. Came out, no problem. I used um, a liquid um, bronzer. That came off, no problem. I used the Blush Balm. It, it, 
Are you in there? Okay. It cleaned it, um, but it definitely did leave staining on my brushes, but I expected that. This is a heckin' pigmented color right here. So there's that. We had a liquid illuminator. Had no problem cleaning that off. We have, let's see, um, the putty blush from e.l.f. It had no problem cleaning that off, and I don't think it's stained even, if I can remember correctly. I had a powder bronzer that came off no problem. Um, let's see, I had a cream bronzer. Again, cleaned it no problem. Both of them did. I had a powder highlighter. I had a cream highlighter. And let's see, I had a blush, a powder blush right here. I have used the contour powder only the powder in this kit. Can I open you? Yes, cover the mirror. So I use that shade right there. Had no problem cleaning that off with either of the brush cleaners. And then I have my dip brow, which um, if I remember correctly, the Cinema Secrets worked a little bit better on, just a little bit. And then I have the Inglot gel liner and the Perry and Spirit um, or maybe I'm switching them. I think the Perry and Spirit did better on with the pomade and then, um, anyways, y'all saw it. So, but it, it cleaned them both off, no problem. So, um, yeah, that was, that was everything. Oh, and then of course my, um, beautiful Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. We used that for, um, the eyeshadows. All right, so let me um, let me get all this cleaned up, and um, then I will come back to y'all with my thoughts on everything. All right, so it's been a few days since I've cleaned the brushes. Um, unfortunately, I had some uh, stomach problems, so I wasn't able to actually finish the video after I cleaned all the brushes. So I left all the brushes where they were. Um, so that they would still be in order so that we could look at them kind of on the camera up close like that rather than me doing the flat lay because I, I, it didn't seem like you could quite tell on the camera just how well the, you know, the um, cleaners were or were not working. So I wanted to just kind of quickly show y'all um, some of the brushes side by side just to uh, just to compare and show y'all. As a reminder, um, on this side, which is my left, we used Perry and Spirit, and on this side, which is my right, we used the Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner. And I definitely have my thoughts, um, which I will get to shortly. First thing I wanna point out, this has happened with both brush cleaners, so I don't blame either one. I'm not even gonna say which one did this one. But see how I messed up this brush right here? So what I was attempting to do was kind of splay out the um, bristles, like almost flatten them completely because I kept having some foundation residual right in there. So I was really trying to get to that. Well, apparently with me doing that, I was too rough and I got the, um, brush cleaner down into the ferrule down in here which is of course where the glue is that's holding the bristles um, so then that of course loosened it up and ruined my brush I did it with one other brush I've since learned my lesson but I wanted to point that out to you guys don't be too too rough this is just a quick clean this is not for deep clean so if you have a brush I think I have one as an example that you know it looks like this you still have a little bit of of you know dirtiness in there even after the quick clean I mean you've cleaned the bacteria and all that stuff out of there so you're good just leave it the way it is clean it the way I showed y'all and you should be good to go um, the staining and, and what's here in the middle that'll come out when you do your deep cleaning 
but it's still been sanitized and everything else so just you know FYI I don't want anybody ruining your brushes with these um, quick clean brush cleaners these quick clean brush cleaners are meant just to be that just to be convenient and quickly clean and sanitize your brushes so um, yeah so there you go all right so I'm going to quickly go over I don't know if I'll show y'all all of them or just a few but um, so again on the left this is Perry and Spirit on the right this is Cinema Secrets okay so I'm not sure if you can tell but on this one on the left the Perry and Spirit yeah see it's not Hmm. It may not show you all the staining as well. I wonder if I turn down the light. Just a little bit if y'all could see the staining. Not really. Well, it may be a moot point, but... Oh yeah, no, yeah, you can. You can see it. Okay, so this one right here was cleaned with the Parian Spirit and you can see it's a little bit pinker. It's got a little bit more pink on it than this one does. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So this one right here, um, sorry, this one right here is the one that is stained, more stained in this instance. Okay. Um, so then we have these for an example. <clears throat> you can definitely see much better here. So on this side, this was the Cinema Secret side right here. Okay, and this was the Perry and Spirit side. So you can see Cinema Secret side right there. It's stained more than the other one that was cleaned with the Perry and Spirit. So there you go. Um, let me see if I can find another example. Um, here we go. These right here, these are almost identical in staining in my opinion. Um, again, this one was Cinema Secrets, this one was Perry and Spirit, and I think that they're about even. Um, let's see, again. Um, I think that, okay, maybe just a little bit. Cinema Secrets has a little bit more staining than the Perry and Spirit does. So this is the Perry and Spirit, this is Cinema Secrets. So this one has just a teensy bit more staining. All right, let's see. Let's see if I have any others that are real standouts. Ahem. <clears throat> Those were the main standouts that I wanted to point out to show to y'all. Um, let's see. It looks like the bronzer brushes got mostly clean. Um, if you can see, there's, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a blue tint to this one. That's just from the Sound of Secrets brush cleaner, but you, I don't even know if you can see that. Um... So yeah, I think, um, I don't see any others that really just jump out at me as like blatantly, hey, this one worked better than that one. So in my opinion, honestly, they both worked about the same. Um, you had a little bit additional staining on one with one shade, and you had a little bit additional staining on the other with another shade. So. Um, honestly, I think they work the same. I think they both clean just as well. Um, I think that they both get as much staining out as they can. Um, one downside about the Cinema Secrets is that since it is stained blue or colored blue, it can stain your brushes. And so that may be why part of the reason why one of the, the ones that had blue was more blue than the one that was clear cleaned with a Perry and Spirit because this will also sometimes stain your white bristles blue until you're deep washed. So, um, my final impression on this, I've used Cinema Secrets for a really long time. Perry and Spirit, this was my first um, to me. Uh, being that they both work equally, 
and they both cost about the same, my choice would be the Cinema Secrets. The reason being is the fragrance. Um, the Parian Spirit has a very natural, I mean it's a very natural orange, real orange fragrance. It's not artificial by any means, but it's very, very, very potent. Um, <laughs> It made me actually kind of nauseous to my stomach from cleaning so many brushes in a small room. Um, so in the future when I do use this, because I will finish this off, I mean I've got how, at least half the bottle left right here. So I will finish this off um, because it does work very well. And I like keeping my brushes as clean as possible so that, you know, I don't get breakouts or any of that stuff. Um, but I will use it in a more well ventilated room or maybe even outside because it, it's just too strong. I can't handle it. Um, and normally I'm not super sensitive to fragrance, but to me it's too strong. I don't know if it's just because it's the orange fragrance or what, but that's just kind of a heads up. Um, it does have a very strong fragrance. Um, also, it will leave your brushes um, a little bit like crunchy. Like, uh, I'm trying to see if I can find one that's still like that. No, nope, I don't have any that are st still like that. When they first, when it first dries sometimes, the, um, the bristles might feel a little bit like crunchy, but um, it doesn't last. It goes away on the Perry and Spirit, the Cinema Secrets, the, the once they're dry, they're completely just as soft as they were when you started. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other differences. The Cinema Secrets does also have a fragrance. It's like a vanilla fragrance, but I also smell um, kind of like a, some type of petrol, petrol product in there. It smells almost like gasoline <laughs> to me. Um, but it's very, it's not very strong and the vanilla smell kind of helps cover it up and the vanilla smell isn't very strong either. So, and it doesn't really linger on your brushes very long. The orange fragrance will linger on your brushes a little bit longer. Um, but it does eventually fade away as well. So, I think I've given y'all all of the information that I know about these two from my experience with these two. Um, my choice, like I said, will be the Cinema Secrets going forward. Um, you can get that both on Amazon and at Sephora. Um, if you prefer the clear so it doesn't stain your brushes and you like the orange fragrance, the Perry and Spirit can be picked up either on Amazon or on Beauty, at Beautylish. Um, they're, they both run about 40 bucks for the 32 ounce bottle. And I always, it's a much, much better value to buy the 32 ounce bottle if you're going to be using this a lot. Um, and I quick clean my brushes several times a week. Um, so it's very much worth it to me to get the bigger bottle whenever I do um, purchase it. The only reason I bought the small bottle was because... I just bought the big bottle of the Perry and Spirit. So, um, with all that being said, um, that's my final conclusion. I will be sticking with the Cinema Secrets. They both work very well. Honestly, I think they work equally. Um, just, you know, follow the tips and tricks I was showing you. Don't be too, too rough so you don't damage your brush like I did. Um, and you should be good to go. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all of my future content. I have lots coming up in addition to some giveaways, so I would hate for you to miss out on that. Um, so yeah, thanks again so much for watching. I hope that wherever you are in this world, you are having a great day or evening and that you are staying healthy and well. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye!